Well, 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 guys, congratulations. You finally found them. The greatest Python tutorials in the entire freaking universe. So, before we get started learning Python, making games, doing anything cool like that, what I want to mention is this. I'm guessing that you're watching these videos on either YouTube or my website, and if you try watching them on that little video player, then it's going to be hard to see what's going on. So, whenever you watch these videos make sure you change the video size to full screen and also 1080 high def my entire desktop is 1080 and I'm gonna be recording the entire thing so again make sure to change it to 1080 and also full screen and these videos are gonna be crystal clear so now that you're done with that simple enough what is Python now you probably already know what it is and you just want to learn it but for some people who are just watching this video because they heard of it before but they aren't really sure what it is it's a programming language that you can use for a ton of stuff you can actually use it not only for like web development but you can make use it to make computer games just you know basic software for the desktop like this crap right here and you can also use it to make like web crawlers so say you have a website and you want to go um, gather the links or go to a website and download all the images really easy you can do it for that too so again there's a bunch of awesome stuff um, regarding Python and that's why it's one of my favorite actually I will say it is my favorite programming language of all time alright so enough about you know me rambling on talking about whatever let's go ahead and start coding so the Python website that you need to go to is www.python.org and go to that this is the home page and once you're on there go to the download section so click that and you're gonna see okay the first thing we have to decide is whether to download Python 2.7.8 or the latest one 3.4.1 now this is kinda old and it's becoming outdated so I would highly recommend downloading Python 3.4.1 why the heck not now whenever you download that you're gonna get this little thing right here or wherever your downloads go to so depending on what browser you use you may it may be different to access your downloads but if you go to Bucky or your name's not gonna be Bucky but downloads you're gonna see you now have a file downloaded so just double click this and if it asks you for permission say go ahead let me close out of this stuff and it says OK. And this is actually one of the easiest um, installers. You just click Next a bunch of times. If you ever installed anything in your life, you know, it's going to feel like home. But install for all users. Sure. Why not? Next. And it says, and this is just because I already uh, downloaded it before because, I don't know, I just like using Python. But for this tutorial, um, I uninstalled it just so I could show you guys how to download it. So you probably won't get this. But it says, do you want to overwrite exist files? Well, yes, I do. Why not? Next. Next. And then it installs. It's actually really quick. All right. Easy enough. I mean, hey, click like two buttons and now we have Python. All right. So completed it. Finish. All right, so uh, hmm, I guess we have Python now, but where the heck is it? How do you even start using it? Well, if you go to your start menu and go to all programs and scroll down, you're going to see that you now have a folder called Python 3.4. So click that, and it has a bunch of crap in it right now, but what we want right now is this, the IDLE. This is just a nice little program that lets us test out things in Python now we can just uh, click this right now and it can open up okay pretty cool but what I want to show you guys how to do is this we're actually going to be using this a lot so go back to that and if you right click it you can press send to desktop and then it puts you or gives you a nice little handy icon on your desktop so hopefully this is going to be one of your most used programs for the future. So now we can just double click it and boom, check it out. So again, this is called the Python IDLE or the Python shell and it lets you test out really simple commands. It's great for learning Python from the beginning. Now 
I'm not going to be um, actually start teaching you anything in this command, but just so we know that everything is up and working, just type in a simple equation like 3 plus, I don't know, uh, 4. Why not? Hit enter. It gives us 7. All right, so we're good to go. We have everything installed. We added a shortcut to the desktop, and now we are ready to start filling our brains with Python. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and in the next tutorial, we're going to start learning code.